Hello everyone. So I'm gonna be doing like a little bit of a vlog kind of thing. I'm sorry, I, I, someone's vacuuming and it's really irritating me and I'm sure it's irritating you too. But I have a few brand events. One of them being today. I have an hour to get ready because I sat on my bed for three hours doing nothing. One of them being tomorrow in a completely different state. So currently I'm in Melbourne. I'm going to a Sheen event today. With Adrian and my manager Cam. And then tomorrow I'm going to Sydney is vacuuming so loudly yeah tomorrow i'm going to sydney for a beginning boutique event so i'm very excited as you can see um my pimples are out and about to play because i fake tan last night i used the loving tan to our express i don't know if you heard my stomach grumble but i left that on overnight so i'm looking very bronzed but um i don't know how to do my hair or makeup i'm kind of like what is going on here i'm kind of a bit stressed but i'm just sitting here like i'm not like doing anything to stop my stressness and also like as well as having to get ready in an hour i have to put all my stuff in my suitcase because straight from the event i'm going to the airport to go to sydney so it's just all a bit of a little kerfuffle but anyways adrian cut my hair this morning and i think he actually did a good job he's been cutting my hair i know i trust him when he does my hair and like it just looks really like healthy like that's a pretty good job for someone who doesn't cut her hair. Um, I'm going into my bathroom. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm just gonna do like a quick GRWM. Okay, so I thought I had an hour to get ready, but I have like 40 minutes. This is tea. Mm, but yeah, I really need to hurry the red gum. I think this calls for like a natural makeup look. I think I might have my hair up as well, but I hate. Events. By the way, Vicky from Sass Nail Artistry. My nails yesterday and I love them. I also got my toes done and I had to add like acrylics to my toenails because they um, broke off. I'm put my makeup in the sink, not gonna lie. I don't think the events that I'm going to are gonna be bad. I think they're gonna be good. I have a good feeling about them. But especially when I was like starting out my influencing career, definitely was a bit more difficult to go to these type of events. I feel like it's kind of intimidating, even though I'm an influencer, going and meeting all these other influencers. I'm very lucky to be doing what I do and I do enjoy getting ready. I'm kind of excited because I feel like I'm a lot more confident in myself this year. I feel like each year you just learn more and more about yourself. Like before I did YouTube, I was so afraid of like people judgment and now like I could not care less like obviously it's good to hear like constructive criticism and stuff but I feel like I'm more confident because I know who I am why is this getting deep like I'm supposed to be like getting ready in a rush maybe I should do my hair first oh my god I'm sweating this. like obviously sleek I'm gonna quickly do like a sleek tutorial because I get a lot of questions especially from people that meet me in person I'm like how the hell is your hair so sleek I'm like well I will tell you this I just get it from like Woolworths and it's a hairspray but it's like a, a spray and it works really really well don't forget the back of your neck because that's where a lot of butterfly ways like to retreat and tie it up then you do it again, but I like to do it like one side at a time. And you can like apply as much of this as you want and it won't go like crusty, which I love. Just like don't let it dry too much. Okay, so now that I've done that, I know it looks silly, but I'm gonna grab the head before you pull out the ponytail to really make it tight. And then tie it up again, kind of like this. All right, just go over it once more. Really smooth out everything. All right, and then you wanna curl up the ends of your ponytail. So just turn it down the whole pony. And then you just curl like that. I don't know how to describe. It gives you like a Cute. Oh, grab this. Wipe your little ponytail. Okay, back to makeup. I'm just kind of gonna be really overdressed. That's one of my biggest fears. But also, another one of my biggest fears being underdressed. I'm not gonna use much. Just wanna get that even complexion. I also kind of want this natural makeup because I'm literally going to the airport like this. I am kind of a pro at doing my makeup really fast. All right, so my skin kind of looks natural, I guess. Natural as you can be, working foundation. Oh my God, last night, silly me. I didn't go to bed until 3.30 a.m. I was in bed at like 12. However, there's always a however. Adrian and I stayed up watching parasite removal videos. And I'm lucky that I can share like that interest with him because a lot of people are grossed out by stuff like that. I've spoken about men worms on my channel before if you're into like gross but satisfying stuff just look up mango worms please oh, i was watching like parasite ones and it was really gross but like kind of nice okay i'm gonna set my face it's really humid today the weather's kind of gross i think the weather's raining in sydney tomorrow as well so it's beautiful oh i don't even know what hotel i'm staying at in sydney that's an issue all right i'm gonna contour okay 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 blush 
contouring the nasal cavity time. The nose contour brush is always the most difficult to find, but it's the one that I always need the most. Oh my gosh, guys, I also saw a psychic and she made me cry because like she said the most accurate things. Maybe I should do a like whole separate video on that. But it was like so intense, like I was not expecting anything because I've been to like one psychic before in like a little shopping center. Like she knew things that were impossible to know. Even if she, like she did know my name and did look me up, she knew impossible things. Yeah, I'm not one to judge. This looks horrid. I'm judging myself. I'm gonna do like a smoky bottom lash line. Do I even have time for that? Probably not. Probably silly idea, little girl. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on adding spots to my face. Kick pencil liner on my waterline. All right, time to add a wing. <laughs> They're two completely different shapes. Oh, I just put that in my eyeball. Now I'm gonna cry. Alright, before I move on, I'm gonna highlight because I'm scared. Highlighting my inner corners, putting my nose. Alright, I'm gonna put that all in. Alright, I'm gonna do an eye cat wing. Beautiful. Mascara. Alright, I'm just leathering my eyelashes. Put on this side. Okay, I'm doing my bottom lashes now. I know who am I. Okay, lips. Why is that? Okay, I have moisturizer all over my hands somehow. Okay. Makeup's okay, but different, but yeah. I don't care, I just have to pack you. Yeah. I'll see you when I freaking see you. Okay, so I'm just ready and I'm in the car. I'll show you guys the outfit, so. So my hair and makeup all done. I have this dress from Sheen, I can't, you can't really see. And then I just have some clear heels on. My little, how do you say it? To be honest, I don't know, I think Jaquemus. Jaquemus bag. We have Adrian with the Sunnies, the Balenciaga top, Mary Jeans, your shoes. I think I've worn this outfit before. Maybe. I've been coughing for the past like 20 minutes because I inhaled so much deodorant. Oh, and I don't know what to do, but yeah. I'm kind of excited, kind of, I'm not really nervous. I'm vibing. Vibing. I'll see you at the event. Hey guys, so the event is over and not gonna lie, I did not vlog any of it. I don't know why. It's a bit of like an awkward place to vlog. I didn't want to just be like, hey guys, so I'm at the place now. But it was really cute. I was basically just hanging out with Adrienne and my manager Cam the whole time. And everyone was really sweet and nice. They also had some like nice snacks. But I saved myself because afterwards, Adrian, Cam, and I went to Nobu. Cam had never been in my car, so I took him for a spin. And now we're going to the airport. But yeah, oh my god, at the event, it was like boiling. Like I was sweating. That's probably why half my makeup was off. It was so hot. How hot was it? It was like 40 degrees, not really. But apart from that, like it was like actually like a good event. But the venue was really cute. It was like pool kind of themed. And yeah, it was just fun. But yeah, now I'm just gonna like chill whilst waiting for the flight there's still a few hours i kind of thought i was going to be very rushed my flight's in two hours but i'm like ready to go i don't think i'll have any issues because i'm not taking that much stuff like last time i had issues because i literally had 40 freaking kilos i'm just scared because i'll have no one's hand to hold on to when the plane's going up maybe i'll hold someone's hand next to me yeah maybe maybe i'll send you a photo <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys at the airport so we are at the airport, but yeah, we're just going to check in. Are you gonna miss me? Yeah, you're just gonna miss me more. It's only one day. This is the longest we've been apart. Adrian's actually taking off. I'll stick on my bag because I just never took it off. I've had these bags for like three years. Isn't that great? Oh, bye. It's 14 kilos and I had 23 kilos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so cute. So Adrian and I just got Hungry Jacks. Adrian's like, it's our last meal together. It's actually like I'm going for six months, but it's one night. I really want to take off my makeup. And there's a little bird in here that I'm really excited about. Adrian's really good at catching animals, so I'm trying to convince him to go get it for me. <laughs> okay, you guys. Wait, I'm gonna go look the door. I'm kind of scared. Okay, so I just arrived at the hotel room. It looks very nice, um, but there are two beds. I don't know who else is meant to be in here with me. And I also have champagne. Uh, I don't know if I want to drink that. Oh my God, I have Pringles. I'm kind of really hungry. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna explain 
how my freaking flight went. I'm gonna eat some chocolate, not gonna lie. Oh, these are nice flavors. Butterscotch cup, cookies and cream, baby cappuccino, dark salted caramel. I'd be going like cookies and cream. I left Adrian and I got on the flight. The flight was, I don't know. I feel like I have such bad luck with flights when I'm by myself. Maybe it's just because like I'm really anxious, but I don't know, it was just like so scary. So basically there was just a lot of turbulence on the way up and I was seated in the middle. So I couldn't see out the window. So it was a bit like, I don't know, understand my senses. I don't know the word, debilitating. It was getting towards the end of the flight and I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I just overthink everything. So at the beginning of the flight, I just quickly turned on my data again and my dad called me and I'm like, oh my God, it's a sign. Like he's calling me for the last time before I die. Like this is literally the way I think and it's so up. I had tears in my eyes and the people around me were probably like, we're just going on a one hour flight to Sydney. Like, are you okay? <laughs> Anyways, that was fine. I obviously survived that. Did I survive the rest? Let's find out. So it was getting towards the end of the flight and I couldn't like see around me and I started freaking out and I don't know, my head makes up this sh and I thought I was getting like really light breathed. Like I couldn't really take in much oxygen and so i was watching other people's chests to see if they were like trying to take in a lot of oxygen like me and like i don't know it looked like they were so i started freaking out because i thought like we were losing oxygen in the plane and then the masks were gonna fall down and i just i like spasmed spasmed i can't really like i hope other people can't hear me because i'm yelling i like spasmed and like the guy next to me was like because i had a freak out and i just quickly went on my phone to like distract myself because I, I was freaking out like I, I just made up a scenario in my head that i lost oxygen in the plane and i couldn't breathe but in reality it was fine so i <laughs> i turned on doodle jump but the whole time on the plane i was not on my phone i don't know i was just thinking and i opened doodle jump and the man next to me on the other side was asleep and the volume was up the whole way luckily it didn't wake him up but it was like bah, bah. And i just quickly closed the app i think that like stopped my anxiety attack i don't know i can't really describe the feeling it's like i like left my body for a second that's probably being really dramatic but like there was no reason for me to have that anxiety attack i just thought that i was losing oxygen and then it was landing time i'm like finally like i've survived the plane right it was like a really big plane it was like a jumbo one or whatever they're called like an airbus i don't know if that means like they get more turbulence but when he was landing like it felt like it, we were swaying like there was so so much turbulence and then we landed and it was fine but then he wasn't breaking and then when he was braking, the, the plane was like swerving and I'm like, oh my god, he's losing control of the plane. Like, what's wrong with my head? I just I just think the worst out of everything. Like, in every situation, I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna take off my makeup, but it's just good to be here and not on a plane anymore. I'm not excited to fly back tomorrow. Oh my god, and I got to the freaking... I, I can't believe I didn't say this. I got to the, um, the hotel and the lady at the desk recognized me. She's like, I watch your YouTube. I don't know. I love meeting you guys. I really do. It like makes my day. Like that made my bad experience good because I like came here to something like, really lovely. I'm on the 27th floor and my room number is number eight and eight is my favorite number. All right, I'm gonna try these. No, dark salted caramel. Mm, that smells very good. I feel like the more expensive the chocolate, the worse it is. These are cookies and cream. Mm. I really don't want that champagne. But yeah. I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay, guys. So it's 1 a.m. I don't know why I'm awake. I was meant to go to bed early. But this hotel... I'm gonna wake up bright and early at 9 a.m. Okay, I love you. Good night. Early, I just don't understand myself. You know what? I can really be Speedy Gonzalez. So honestly, I have a feeling that this hotel is haunted. I found it very difficult to sleep last night. I think I'm nervous because I'm late. 
my own fault. And also it's terrible weather and I'm wearing my hair out. So it's gonna like buff the house down. See, it's already buffy. I'm not even gonna lie. I think eyebrows is the longest step in my makeup routine. Like it's already been four minutes. I have 15 more minutes to go just because like they're the most precise thing. And it's not even like as if like I'm like rushed for time. I did this to myself. I got up at nine and then I don't know what happens but the morning just like slips away from me and I think I have a lot more time than I actually do. Like I straighten my hair, but it still goes uncontrollably buffy, and I don't know what to do. This view is actually really pretty in the hotel, apart from it feeling a bit haunted. I swear. Every time I mention that this hotel room is haunted, I hear a noise. I'm only giving myself 20 minutes to get ready because I need to make sure all my bags, well, my one bag is packed because I'm checking out and I have nowhere to put it. So I have to put it in the lobby. What? Okay, so my phone fell, but I just sprayed my face. All right, it's time for me to highlight absolutely everywhere. And that all in. Type of liner. Whew. Mascara. This is like the last step apart from lips, but I can do lips later. Okay, hey guys, I really have to go. I'm gonna do my lipstick like right behind me. Okay, but this is all a bit of a disaster. I'm gonna have to so myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Like straight in my hair for the 17th time because so it just won't stop buffing. Okay, we'll see you guys when I am ready and when you're gonna be the event. Hey, so I'm here with Hello. Susie. Hi, guys. And both of us were staying at the same hotel and we both got ready in like, well, I got ready in literally 20 minutes. Yeah. How long did it I take was you? About the same. Well, like, it took me a long time, but I also like went out and got a pedicure <laughs> this morning and did some really unnecessary things. So, so <laughs> yeah, we're just both a mess. You were later than me, though, and I was not expecting that. I thought I was, I'm always the last one there. No. So that made me feel a lot better. Not, no, I if you think it. you're always the last one there, I'm definitely. The lastest one there. <laughs> the lastest one. Bye, <laughs> Yay, Bondi theme. And then this is the beginning boutique setup. So pretty. And they give us little freaking cameras. They're like disposable. Oh my god, I've never had one of those. Other I, than I, when I was like 10 years old. I get them all the time. They're like the best. But yeah. Susie's a little bit a little bit hot and it's humid very up sweaty. here. I'm wearing this dress. I didn't get to show you my outfit. Do you glasses. want me to show the outfit? Oh. Okay, okay. Turn it around. <laughs> it's just my chin. Oh my god, the woman herself. Oh, that guy's <laughs> Hi, dirty bugger. <laughs> Sick. But yeah, we're just gonna enjoy and eat. I wanna eat. Yeah, I'm, act I'm actually very excited to eat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm really bad at vlogging. <laughs> So I really didn't film like any of the event, which sucks. But as you can tell, I'm not at the event anymore, clearly. But yeah, we're back at the hotel and I have to leave soon to go back to Melbourne. So kind of sad. I don't want to get on the plane. I'm kind of scared because I my bad experience yesterday. It's okay. I'm wishing for the best. But yeah, I'm here with Tuesday. Hello. How sick is that name? Hi. I'm just not gonna let her go. I'm gonna like steal her and like lock the doors and everything. <laughs> and then we have Sofa Dofa. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, we all met today and I love them already. I love you. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the airport now, so. I'm sad. I don't wanna leave. Don't leave. Okay. <laughs> so I got my mom. Some books. Oh no, it's starting to thunder. Oh god. I didn't even look outside at the weather now. I'm scared. I got her John Grisham, the judges list, and the tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. Mm. Yeah, hopefully my flight isn't cancelled. I don't know what I'd do. Crap, now I'm scared. 